Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's really a blessing. It's a pleasure and a great honor to be out here in nature and greeting you, knowing that I'm bringing a message of emancipation to you, knowing that I'm bringing a message of love to you, knowing that I'm bringing a message that would emancipate you from all mental slavery and allow you to discover your true identity. Now, my brother and my sisters, with all of that being said, I just want to speak to you concerning the sun being the key to the Grand Library. And the reason why I choose to speak on this topic is because many have been speaking about the Akashic Records and they've been speaking about the Akashic Records having unlimited knowledge of, of who we are and why we're here and where we really come from and so on and that it is downloaded in our DNA and that we must be able to access the Akashic Records. Some says that you have personal Akashic record and so on and they, they go into many other records and they claim that it's not just one record but different records all put, come together to make up the Akashic record. But when I look at it more closely, I've come to recognize and realize that without the sun, there is no life. And without the sun, that there is no light. Without the sun, we can get food to eat close to where we can never have any of the commodities that there is without the sun therefore the sun is what basically powers the earth and the sun is what powers our body and we melanated people are like insulators that the sun can easily pass through and we are the closest people to the sun Therefore, if we align ourselves with nature and learn to understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically and that God is our own human imagination, we would understand that the human imagination parallels the sun. For with all the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And all things were made by the human imagination, our force being imagined, force being a thought, force being an idea, same thing. Which is showing you that all is mine. Therefore, when the Bible speaks about without him, there isn't anything made that was made, and that all things were made by him. In St. John chapter 1 verse 3, that him is not a man who existed 2,000 years ago with blue eyes and blonde hair, or a man who born in a geographical location in the Middle East. But it's speaking about the creator in you or the creative power in you. So when we come to understand that without the sun, the S-U-N, there is no life and there is no light and that it is the S-U-N that is putting us to sleep because when the sun is going down we are going down also and we are going to rest that we may rise again and when the sun starts rising we, we start rising also with the sun and I'm saying all of this to help the many melanated people all around the world especially those in my country and the entire Caribbean, Africa you know, and all the places where black people are living and still have the concept of a God outside of themselves and believing in Jesus Christ to be their only savior and to be the only begotten son and looking at it from a literal standpoint or uh, taking it for a secular history because there are people who will look at me and tell me that the son is not the light of the world that Jesus Christ is the light of the world and they are referring to Jesus Christ being a S-O-N and they are saying that the S-O-N didn't need to depend on the S-U-N but common sense will teach you that every, any son or any daughter have to depend on the S-U-N because basically we all come from the S-U-N 
It is said that we are stardust. Or we came from stardust. And the stars is like the spiller from the sun. It's like the children. So the whole pattern of a family is above and below. That's why as above, so below. As it is without, so is it within. So my brother, my sisters, we have to be more aware of the sun and how important the sun is to us and how we must even eat more closer to nature and that we have to use our imagination to change our circumstances so that at certain time of the year we could be able to travel to warm places like for example in the winter it, is, it would be so good for black people to be able to have the, the money to have the necessary means to travel and come to these parts in the tropics and enjoy the sunlight before they can go back again but for that to happen we have to free our mind from all mental slavery and from the employee mentality that was cultivated in many of us to the educational system and the religious system so it is time for us to change our belief so we'll be able to change our circumstances and live the life that we're supposed to live upon the face of this earth and accomplish our goals and feel free and empowered. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, let me say again that the sun is the key to the Grand Library. So if you want to be more enlightened and you want to be more aware, first of all, you have to accept the S-U-N over the S-O-N and the rest would be your story. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I hope I got my message across to you. And I hope what I would have said, it, is, it has been helpful to you. And I want to encourage you to continue to support this work by supporting our ebooks. And soon, hard copies will be available. And for those who have been supporting us on Patreon, we want to say gratitude to you. And for those who haven't done so, we just want to say to you that always remember that the principle of the universe is giving and receiving so with that being said my brother and my sisters as usual i want to give you the sign of enlightenment the sign of matthew 6 22 where it says, where it says if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and i'm saying to you when you have that experience you will come to realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And you will come to understand that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there is anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. Therefore, let us as the people of the sun, let us use our mind power to achieve our every desire. So with that means I want to say peace, love you. I'm out and don't forget to get in touch with me through Instagram also. Follow me at Black Mad Guru and Instagram also. Peace.